What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. In today's video I'm going to be trying to team test this concept I had around using Mr. Rhyme in 2021. But before we get into that, do me a favor, if you guys enjoy this at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we are so so close to 20,000 subscribers. Also check out the link in the description down below to the Tiltify campaign where me and a whole bunch of other YouTubers are trying to raise money for mental health awareness for a charity called Checkpoint. Tonight at 5pm CST I'll be participating in a VGC tournament that I'll be streaming on my Twitch channel to raise money for that. So if you guys want to support that cause go ahead and check that out in the link in the description down below. But without further ado let's get into it. So Mr. Rhyme is a very interesting Pokemon. It has a new ability in Screen Cleaner, which on switching removes all screens for both sides of the field, so obviously you wouldn't want to run him on your side of the field if you're running screens. Um, he has ability. He has the ability to use Fake Out, which is really good. Uh, it just gives him a nice little niche in being like a middle speed tier Fake Out user, sort of like Incineroar, except not quite as bulky and um, hits pretty hard in the special offensive side with uh, one ton special attack. Uh, I'm running freeze dry because it allows me to two shot Tapu Fini with the standard 236-12 uh, special defense spread that's going around right now. I'm running a Focus Ash with uh, Trick Room on this guy because basically even though I max speed, modest max speed Mr. Rhyme is still slower than a lot of other Pokemon so he can sort of function as a middling speed tier Trick Room setter and it's really easy to get that off with the Focus Sash so that's really cool. Uh, on top of that he combos really well with all these Pokemon because they're huge wall breakers in the format and Regieleki's running around right now so what I could do is let's say I have a Thunderous and I'm Dynamax and I'm in front of Regieleki plus Tapu Fini but the Tapu Fini is behind a Reflect. Well I wouldn't be able to knock it out because it has the Reflect up and it has high physical defense so what I could do is switch in the partner Pokemon for Mr. Rhyme removing the screens and then knocking them out with uh, Thunderous. That's really big. The other Pokemon, this guy doesn't care about screens at all, running Choice Band, Urshifu, Unseen Fist, Jolly Max Attack, Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab, Grassy Seed, and Hiligo, my standard defensive, fast Trick Room set, uh, it, it, that makes sense. That's just how you run a Hiligo in this format, just Trick Room, but also fast, it's really interesting. Uh, that's the Nut Core altogether though, but uh, my last couple of Pokemon, we have Rillaboom G-Max, I'm running a, a Miracle Seed on this guy, he was originally Choice Band, and then I was like, eh. I want the choice band of the Urshifu, especially since the Sash is on Mr. Rhyme. So I ended up running him just Adamant Max Attack, Grassy Glide does a ton of damage, and we're running a Weakness Policy Metagross. No EV spread really, just Max Max. But yeah, uh, before we get into the video, do me a favor, answer the comment question of the day. How viable is your favorite Pokemon? I want to know, is, is your favorite Pokemon Absol? In which case, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But yeah, uh, do me a favor, comment down below, tell me your favorite Pokemon, and if you think it's viable, but let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know how many games I'm going to win with this, because like I said, it's just a concept. I've practiced a bit, and I've ran into some crazy stuff, but overall it seems okay. I don't know how good it is overall, though. Um, looks like we have a Lightning Rod user in Manti in it. This is a really interesting one. They do have screens, though, which is really big. I think what I want to do here is lead off Urshifu, and... Urshifu Metagross doesn't seem awful, it covers a couple of things, but I have to be really careful about the opposing Urshifu. I think I can go just Urshifu Thunderous and that covers the most things. Mr. Rhyme in the back doesn't seem awful. And my last Pokemon, I kind of want to go Metagross since it beats out a couple of his mons. It should beat out Grimmsnarl, they don't tend to run dark moves at the moment. Um, Urshifu is going to be an issue and so is this guy. But I also kind of want to go Nihiligo because Nihiligo hits... One, two, three, four things for super effective damage. Uh, I'm not certain. We'll go Nihiligo. We'll go Nihiligo and just offer the best here. Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious that here is where they would want to switch in their... Um, here's where they would want to switch in their... Uh, what's it called? The Marowak Alola to be immune to all my attacks. So I could make a read here, and it'd be a very scary read to make. I don't know if I really want to. So many times on low ladder I want to make a prediction and it never works out. I'll make a... I'll make a middle ground play. I will go for my poison jet... Nah. I can go into Hiligo for Urshifu, I think. Yeah, what am I saying? We'll just poison jab the Grimstar I'll get into Hiligo. As they Dynamax, and they don't switch out the Mantine, but they should go for screens here. Okay. So this is where uh, we go full gamer mode. <laughs> I can uh, poison jab this Grimmsnarl one more time. Or actually, do I want to do that? Maybe I just get in Thunderous. And I go for a Sludge Bomb KO. Max Ooze into the Grimmsnarl. 
and then next turn I'll get plus two special attack and I can remove the screens with my <laughs> with my Mr. Rhyme already. Okay. So it looks like we went for the Max Geyser. He did a really, a really large amount of damage. 57 is more than I expected. And ooh, actually he might KO me next turn because of Swift Swim. Ooh, he does have the Urshifu Water though. Um, I outspeed it. I don't take an Aqua Jet very well though. I think my play here is to... <sighs> Dang, this is scary. I think I just Wild Charge into Mantine and I go for a Max Guard here. Because Wild Charge should KO even though I'm, you know... <laughs> even though I'm, um... What's it called? Hitting it through screens in Dynamax, I think it'll pick up the KO. This will also scout for a possible um, Aqua Jet. So I'll Max Guard here. The Max Geyser me. Get my Wild Charge off. Don't quite KO, unfortunately. But I can get in my Mr. Rhyme now. And I can go for the Fake Out. It looks like he didn't want to go for Aqua Jet, which is really big. Uh, we'll go ahead and just go for a Max Ooze to knock out the Urshifu, I think. And I removed the screens, which is huge. Yeah, Swift Swim is really scary on Manti, and I'm glad he didn't go for uh, Max Airstream, because I would have been in trouble. As Mr. Ryan picks up a KO, and the Sash goes off. They should just KO my Nihiligo here. Oh no, they go for it in a Mr. Rhyme. They really just don't like Mr. Rhyme, do they? Okay. I mean, I don't think they have much to deal with me here. There's the Marowak Alola. Uh, it's in my best interest just to uh, sucker punch this Urshifu and go for the Power Gem into Marowak. Yep, good game. Well played. This is a low ladder account, by the way, guys. Um, I, I need a ladder up on a main account. I might do a live stream soon where I just hop on the ladder with a good team and get up to like high ladder so I can team test up there. I'm usually kicking around high ladder, but I haven't played too much showdown because I'm busy with school and stuff, so. Also, you guys seem to like the in-game content more. Okay, so we're facing sand rush screens and something to discourage and intimidate, which is kind of annoying. I think what I can do here is lead off Thunderous. Actually, no, versus this, I've always felt like it's really easy just to lead off Urshifu Rillaboom. But I'm also concerned about the uh, Incineroar lead. I think I can go Urshifu Rillaboom. And we'll go Thunderous on lead. But I also want priority to help me deal with um, this guy in case he ends up leading off with it. Uh, in that case, I will go with probably Choice Band Urshifu is my best bet. Mr. Rhyme in the back. The uh, Focus Sash plus Freeze Dry is really good for Dracovish, uh, but I shouldn't get hyper-focused around Dracovish. He does have a couple of other threats. I think my last Pokemon here is just going to be Metagross because it deals with a lot of things pretty well. Okay, so this isn't a bad lead. I think what I do here is I just go for my Choice Band Sucker Punch and Protect. Because he might just switch in the... Uh, yeah, there's the Tyranitar. I was going to say, he might just switch in Tyranitar here, and that's a clean two-shot. As he Ficious Rens, uh, we have him pretty much on the ropes, I think. Uh, I think I should just Dynamax... Or I'll, I'll get him Metagross here, and I'll just go for the Sucker Punch into Dracovish once more. Because he, he should go for a Rock move into my Thunderous. He may just switch out the Dracovish, but I'm cool with that, I suppose. Yep, there's the Galar's Aptos. That's fine. Get in the Metagross. It deals with both these guys. Sucker Punch goes into nothing. Max Rockfall is going to do nothing. Ooh, okay, never mind. He crit me. That's a little bit annoying. Um, I think my play here is to... Hmm. I can win with Thunderous, but it's it's not fun. I'll Protect here, and I'll get in the Thunderous on why, what I assume is going to be a Brave Bird. Oh, U-Turn. Okay, that's not fun, because he's going to get in the Dracovish. And I might need to sack a Pokemon here. There's the Max Darkness. I mean, I outspeed his Tyranitar. I could just double down into Dracovish. Especially since he... I think he has to go for a... um. I think he has to go for the Ficious Rend into Thunderous if he wants to KO me here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Stomping Tantrum into Dracovish and go for a Protect. Oh, no. He makes the right call. Knocks me out. I can get him Mr. Ryman Urshifu, though. Um, I no longer need to... Let me fake out into Dracovish. Uh, I can now lock myself into Max Knuckle. 
Yeah. But this is... If he goes for a rock slide, though, I lose my Mr. Rhyme, which is a little bit annoying. As he is carrying Protect, I did not expect that. I thought maybe he'd be running Choice Band or something. There's the Lash out. Okay. Keep my Mon because of the Sash. I'm going to go ahead here and just... I almost want to try to Trick Room, but it feels so risky. I mean, his Sand Rush is gone, so I outspeed him. I'm going to try to Trick Room and hope that it works out for me. He should not stay in with Dracovish. And I will Max Knuckle the Tyranitar. Okay, now Mr. Rhyme is the, fa is the fastest thing on the field. And I underspeed Zapdos with my Urshifu, and I can knock him out with, um... Well, I'm not sure what I knock him out with, but I hope I hope something. <laughs> There's the Metagross. Okay, I, I underspeed Metagross, that's good. So I'm going to go for Freeze Dry into Zapdos. That should KO from this range, because I'm modest. And I can go for the Max Darkness into... Oh, wait, I'm not G-Max? Why am I not G-Max? I'm an idiot. Urshifu, G-Max. Okay, fixed it. Uh, I should just go for the Max Darkness into Metagross here, as he's carrying Earthquake. Okay, GG. Usually it's Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, usually that's Stomping Tantrum. I thought I had the Big Brain play on him, but unfortunately not. Okay. So we see Liopard plus... What was it? Liopard plus Hatterene Trick Room. It's pretty unlikely they lead off with anything besides that. Um... I could lead off Mr. Rhyme here and completely prevent the Trick Room, which is really nice. Because all I have to do is click Fake Out and they're not able to use their move, I believe. <sighs> is Fake Out the one that prevents it? Yeah, Fake Out goes after Max Guard, so I can prevent it with that. We'll lead off Urshifu and Mr. Rhyme. I could even go Rillaboom Mr. Rhyme, to be honest. Or er, Rillaboom Urshifu. We'll go uh, Rillaboom Urshifu. I don't think Mr. Rhyme shows up to this match. Metagross in the back doesn't seem bad, and I kind of want to go Nihiligo. Yeah. Okay. So all I have to do here is spam Fake Out. I could also try to G-Max one blow this guy. <laughs> Maybe I do that. <laughs> oh, my voice just cracked so hard. That's so embarrassing. Okay, uh, let me go for the Fake Out. I'll actually get in the Nihiligo here. Because they should just Max Guard. And copycat. Yep. And here's the fun part. I'm gonna keep faking out because I can just completely, um, yeah, I can just completely negate all this. We'll also go for the Max Ooze into Liopard because I'm not concerned about Hatterene's special attack. Like, really, what's the issue? Fake out. Oh, and now you use fake out. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's so good. Okay. Um,. I'll just fake out again. I'll just fake out again. See what happens. See if I care. Let me go for this uh, Max Ooze into you once more. As he Max Guards, I fake out. And he tries to copycat. And it doesn't work. <laughs> and I get plus... Oh my god. Okay. Let me Grassy Glide here. Let me uh, absolutely annihilate this Hatterene. As he sends in the Tyrantor. How much is this going to do? Not that. I mean the Max Ooze. Because it's resisted. GG. Well played. <laughs> I love that you can just absolutely just destroy that entire strategy by spamming fake out. It's so funny. Leave a like for that, guys. If, if you have not left a like and if you have not subscribed, that's the sort of play you leave a like and subscribe for. Okay, here, obviously, I want to lead off uh, Urshifu because it covers quite a few things. Um, I have to be real, real careful with that with that um, Regigigas because he's running, he's running two gimmicks on lead. He can either go Regigigas Weezing, or um, he can go Blacephalon plus Stupid Coal Man. I think what I want to do, actually, is I can lead off Mr. Rhyme and check both of these leads by going for Trick Room and then sweeping with Metagross. Actually, we'll go Urshifu Mr. Rhyme on lead because it covers both. Uh, Metagross in the back is always going to be my play, and I think I kind of want to bring the Hiligo, but... Yeah, we'll bring Nihiligo. Okay, this is actually great. So all I need to do here is Trick Room 
and get in my Metagross. Yes, this is my play. Because what's going to happen is he's going to protect the uh, the Weezing. And, or maybe he'll protect the Weezing. He shouldn't taunt my Mr. Rhyme is the thing. And he needs to be scared of Fake Out. So he's going to go for the Max Strike. Either into Mr. Rhyme or into Metagross. I hope it's Mr. Rhyme because I don't really need him besides this play. There's the Protect. There's the Max Strike. Oh no, I am very slow. Wait, am I? Yeah, okay, good. Clear Body is very good here because it actually removed... Um, or Clear Body being gone. I forgot about Clear Body being gone, but that's actually really good because it made me slower. What I can do now is go for Expanding Force and also go for a Max Steel Spike onto the Weezing. And he doesn't have any counterplay to that since I'm slower than him with both my Mons. Max Steel Spike. Expanding Force. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Rhyme was was not slower. That is a bit disappointing. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm surprised actually. I guess he's like no speed investment wheezing, which is pretty uncommon for this team type since you want to outspeed things after max strike. There's Blacephalon. I mean, I suppose I just delete Blacephalon now. Um, I can beat Regigigas with my Urshifu. Yeah, I'll just expanding force into Blacephalon and go for a max quake. Since these things are typically Choice Scarf, that just, you know, covers all my bases. Okay, um... I guess I can just get in Urshifu here, or maybe even Nihiligo. Nihiligo actually covers the most things that he could have in the back here. In fact, it covers everything he could have in the back. There's Galarian Moltres. Alright, epic. Epic, man. Epic. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna KO the Regigigas with Sludge Bomb. Plus Max Steel Spike, or maybe Max Quake. Max Quake makes the most sense, since um, it allows me to wall out. It allows me to wall out Moltres a bit better. Always oh, got High Wars Power. Oh no! Oh no! I made an oops, guys. I made an oops. All right, Choice Band Close Combat. Please come in clutch. Let me Ice Punch Close Combat. I'm about to get destroyed by this Moltres, man. I just need Urshifu to survive this turn and KO this thing. Ice Punch. Air Slash, we survive? Okay, we won. That was disgustingly close, and I don't like that that happened to me. <laughs> GG. His slow start's over, or his slow start isn't over, so I outspeed and I kill him. Oh my god. I, I was. That would have been a lot more convincing had I undersped the Weezing, which I guess that's the thing that comes with running max speed on a Trick Room Pokemon. But I definitely thought he would have a bit of speed investment to outspeed something at minus one, but apparently he didn't. Ooh, okay. Uh, screens plus Moltres and Glacier. This is pretty much the matchup Mr. Rhyme was meant for, but I always get nervous playing this because I feel like I'm going to mess up the one thing this guy was meant to do. I think what I can do here is... I can lead off Urshifu pretty reliably. And Rillaboom. Those two pretty much cover each other perfectly. In the back, I want Mr. Rhyme to deal with the screens, and my last Pokemon has to be Metagross. Because it, it covers pretty much everything except for this guy. GLHF. Alright, Regieleki and Galarian Moltres. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious he's just going to go for screens here. I don't want him to be able to max Airstream on me. I think my play is always going to be to Grassy Glide and try to get that KO. I don't think he'll knock out Urshifu here. But I definitely can't allow him to get up screens is the thing, you know. I have to send in Mr. Rhyme late. What I'll do is... Hmm. I don't know if Grassy Glide KOs with Miracle Seed here. It's pretty uncertain. I'll get a Metagross since they're definitely not going for a dark move here, and I'll Grassy Glide. I don't want to fake out because that would just, you know, make it so I get knocked out by this move. There's the Airstream, he knocks me out. And I think my play here... To send in this boy. Go for my Trick Room and Protect. Because I want my weakness policy. I definitely do. 
He should always go for screens again. And as long as Mr. Rhyme survives, I'm in a good spot. I'm not going to max guard because I would really, really appreciate getting my weakness policy. Dang, I wish I was still choice banned uh, Rillaboom, that would have KO'd. It'd be really awesome if they just went for screens and targeted into Metagross, because then I keep Mr. Rhyme for the endgame, which is big. So they Volt Switch to activate Weakness Policy. Oh, this is going to be close. Maybe I should have Max Guarded. Maybe I should have Max Guarded. Max Darkness. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we get our Trick Room off. And I think... This should seal the deal here. I can go for Max Hailstorm as well as a Freeze Dry, and I think that'll do it. There's no way Tapu Fini knocks me out, right? I mean, I have Focus Sash, so I'm fine. The reason I'm doubling into it here is because I'm scared and afraid. <laughs> and other synonyms for that. Okay, Freeze Dry is going to be doing a ton to Kartana. Yeah, that looks like a Salt Vest, um, but we still KO with the next one, especially after Hail Damage. And we might just win here, because I can just spam Max Steel Spike and Freeze Dry. It's kind of, it might be a roll on the Kartana is the issue. There's Tapu Fini. Uh, I always just Steel Spike into you and hope that plus two KOs. Go for my Freeze Dry on Kartana. The last Pokemon is Regieleki, so I win with Urshifu if I remove this guy. Yeah, we're good. Hey, GG, well played. Dude, Mr. Rhyme coming in clutch. <laughs> Mr. Rhyme absolutely destroying this thing. Nice. Okay. Let's get one more for the video. One more battle. Have I lost yet? I, I can't remember. I honestly can't. GLHF. No screens on this one, but... Maybe leading off Mr. Rhyme to mess with their Trick Room option could be fun. Hmm. I might actually just go Urshifu and Nihiligo since it, they cover each other so well here. Um, My own Metagross doesn't seem awful, but they do have two fire types. We'll go Metagross. And... Whatever, I don't care if I lose this last one. This is a throwaway account. Sabado Gigantamax is not my main. Let's go Mr. Rhyme for the culture. Okay, this is pretty much the lead I wanted to see. This is essentially the perfect lead for me. Because he's going to fake out my, my Urshifu, right? At least he should. I think I might just Trick Room on his Trick Room. Yeah, I'll just Trick Room on his Trick Room. What do you do about it? Boom. Boom. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so he should uh, Grassy Glide here. I don't know if it KOs me from this range, so I'm just going to double into the Porygon too. Just to make sure I knock it out. Because he could either Grassy Glide into Urshifu or Nihiligo, and this just guarantees that I get a KO here. All right, we have prevented Trick Room. Time to set up my own Trick Room. I'm kidding. <laughs> Send in the Mr. Rhyme here as the Cinderace comes out. Um, I do have plus one defense, which is really big. I think he's more likely to Dynamax Cinderace here and probably go for a fighting move, which I should survive if I Dynamax, I believe. So I'll go for a fake out and I'll attempt to remove Cinderace from existence, which might be easier said than done. I'm surprised they have Cinderace on a Trick Room squad. Oh no, they just give me Cinderace. Nope, Pyro Ball, that's fine. Dynamax here. KO this guy. Mr. Rhyme now has plus one special attack, so I could even Nene on him a different way. Okay. So I think, hmm, I'm actually very scared, by the way, because he could mess me up right now. 
He could actually mess me up pretty hard, since he hasn't wasted his Dynamax yet. Um, I'm gonna freeze dry into Rillaboom. And also max ooze into Rillaboom, since they should always Dynamax Metagross. This makes it so I don't believe I lose both my Pokemon. Because he has to Grassy Glide into Mr. Rhyme, right? Maybe I do lose both of my Pokemon by doing this. I'm gonna go for the freeze dry, and I'm gonna max guard. Yep, there's the Grassy Glide. Get in my Metagross, I can protect the Metagross, and I want damage on his Metagross, really. Plus two max Rockfall should be doing enough where my weakness policy boosted high horsepower can KO, so I'm going to actually target into, into the Metagross here. Yeah, that doesn't KO me. As he steel spikes, uh, that's not good. I need a double. I failed the double. And that's likely game, as he goes for a steel spike, interestingly enough. Stomping tantrum, hoping for a crit. That's really my only out here. Did I just crit? He, do you not have a ground move, sir? Did I just throw because you don't have a ground move? Alright, well, GG. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lose the last one, but I have to say, this team did pretty well. I might make it in-game. I, I actually really like this squad. It's really fun. It's basically just a whole bunch of wall breakers with Mr. Rhyme to support. And the, the trick room comes in clutch a lot. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, because I'm bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And with that, I'm going to call it. Make sure you check out my Twitch in the link in the description down below, so you can watch the charity stream later on tonight at 5 p.m. CST. Have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.